Yesterday, Stephen Kinnock, Neil Kinnock's son, attacked the Conservative Party on their record of immigration, 14 years. And he says, the higher net migration figures reflect 14 years of Conservative failure on the economy and immigration. The Tories' record net high migration figures include a 65% increase in net migration for work, and a 156% surge in health and social care visas as a result of their failure on skills, training, and domestic workforce planning here in the UK. I'm not quite sure what he means by health and social care visas, but there we are. Labour would reform the points-based immigration system to boost training and better link it to the needs of the economy. Well... I, I, I have as much anxiety about that promise as I do about the experience of the present government and the visas for um, education, the education visas, the, the, the visas for studying in university and so on, which are a disaster. Uh, it seems to me that if somebody has... If somebody believes in the university system, if somebody trusts the university system, then the universities should control those visas, or the schools should control those visas. They are also themselves heavily controlled. So to add that second level of control seems extraordinary. And the fact that it often interferes with the school or the university education is another layer of bureaucratic mess that these people have to go through and that, frankly, is time-wasting and uh, the, the, only, the only benefit is a little bit of money in the pocket of the Home Office. And I'm sure that can be arranged in other forms. What we have to do is to make sure that people who come here um, and people who have taken up visas to come here, leave here with a positive experience, so they become ambassadors for the UK rather than critics of the UK. And at the moment, and certainly since Mrs May's hostile environment began, anyone who um, had uh, managed to get a visa for the UK left the UK um, more miserably than when they came, particularly if they were a student anyone. Uh, it, it has not been a positive, life-enriching experience. And those people who decided to stay further uh, generally found themselves uh, engaged in some sort of legal battle to, um, to get some sort of residence. And it's very, very costly. And I've seen it on a number of occasions, particularly where it's gone wrong, and people have uh, o often they have relationships, they have um, commitments here in the UK, and 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 the training that we've given them, the opportunities we've given them in education, don't fit with their life at home, and. So it makes perfect sense that they would want to stay here for a while. And a positivity, a, a positive thing, because we should be able to use them and to, and, and, and to get tax from them. But instead, it's, they're part of a statistic. Statistics do not give us enough information. So where Stephen Kinnock talks about 156% surge in health and social care visas... What was it before? Somewhere near zero, perhaps. So, uh, and, and what is he actually referring to in these health and so social care visas? Um, I think most of the time he's talking, m most of those health and social care visas are about um, uh, people who have come over to the UK and who want to look after their parents. <laughs>